Welcome back. First round playoff pairings are set in high school football. You can find most of the matchups along the bottom of our screen, but it took the final week of the regular season to separate the contenders and in some cases settle the district crown starting in 15-5A. Bowie and Westlake both 4-0 going head-to-head -head for the outright title and higher seating, but the shafts would leave, no doubt about it. Lewis Gilbo would find Webb Elliott in what turned into a route. 35-0 Westlake wins their first outright title since 2006. They get Round Rock to start. Bowie with a tough assignment against Westwood. Those details in just a second. Drama for the final playoff spot in that district. Anderson needing a win over Austin High. Maroons needing a six-point win. Devontae DeWitty ties it late for the Trojans in the fourth. 35-35 only to have Austin March right back downfield, put it in the hands of their playmaker, Caleb Jones. Go ahead, score 10 seconds to play. Anderson had one last try, but they fall short, and Austin High slips into the playoffs with a 2-8 and eight record, knocking Anderson out. Maroons will host Leander on Friday night at House Park. Anderson is out because Del Valley is in. The Cardinals also needing a win over Aikens to punch their ticket. Jalen Alfaro leading the way. Del Valley sneaks in after starting the year 0-8. And now they host their first round matchup Friday night against the Pflugerville Panthers coming in off a loss. Not too much to decide in 16-5A going into this week, but Westwood and Round Rock played for the Westlake Bowie draw. And the Warriors, too much for the Dragons to handle. Des Wyatt returns this punt for a touchdown. It snowballed from there, 45-7, the final. Again, Westwood Bowie at Reeves Stadium, Round Rock Westlake at Dragon Stadium, both of those games on Friday night. Leander able to wrap up the outright district title in 16-5A Thursday night. KBBO big game of the week. Caleb Woodward at quarterback for an injured Andres Barrera. Ran for three scores and the Lions pull away from McNeil 45-21. They win seven straight after starting 0-3 and they open against Austin High. Now to 4A where Lake Travis can begin their drive for five. Six wins away from a fifth straight state title, but not before a rematch with their arch nemesis Cedar Park. Timberwolves defending their 25-4A title. First meeting since the Cavs knocked them out of the playoffs last year. Caught on their heels. The better part of this one, Colin Legas keeps it up the middle. No one to stop him. 84 yards. Lake Travis had a 24-0 lead until late in the third when Cedar Park made their move. Brian Hogan up top to Alex Curl. They pull within three. 24-21, 12 seconds to play, needing an onside kick. But Zach Austin able to recover for the Cavs. And things get a little chippy in the pileup, but Lake Travis hangs on. 24-21, now a first-round rematch at home to McCallum Thursday. LBJ Cedar Park Thursday at Nelson Field. Vandegrift Travis High, Drifting Springs Lanier will enter the 4A Division II bracket. Down south in 27-4A, Hayes trying to break up Smithson Valley's perfect season and steal a piece of the district title. Caleb Kimbrough to Taven Mayberry for the touchdown. Rebels needed overtime, but they get the job done 34-28. It will be Hayes and San Antonio Brennan in shirts on Friday night. Meanwhile, the madness continued in 16-4A up until the very end. Connolly at Maynard Mustangs looking to share the district title. Had the lead, let it slip away. Dave Payton, the touchdown for Connolly. Cougars come storming back for a 41-40 win. They open Thursday against Waxahachie at Waco ISD. Maynard is Friday at Waco ISD against Corsicana. Bastrop rounding out an emotional season, home to Hutto and the Hippos, finishing strong with a 40-7 victory, splitting the title with the Hendrickson Hawks, but they go into opposite brackets. Hutto in 4A Division II will play Lancaster Thursday night at Waco Midway. Hendrickson, with the week off, will go into Division I, opening against West Mesquite at Waco Midway on Friday night. Finally, high-scoring affair between Taylor and Lampasas to decide their 3A district, but Lampasas able to hold off the Ducks and win it alone, unbeaten in their league, 58-50. The final in this game, Badgers will meet Bernie in Dripping Springs on Friday night. Taylor will try their luck against Wimberley Friday night in Marble Falls. Wimberley, a perfect 9-0 through their season, considered a favorite for the title game. All championships will be at Cowboys Stadium this year.